All right, we're in Beehive Basin on a west aspect and about 120 centimeters of snow depth here. We didn't get any propagation in our extended column test, but we do have this depth core down here that is still really soft and sugary. And we're finding it on the way up. Um, around on the more southerly aspects, the snow depth is probably about half as deep. So we know there's some thin areas where we might be able to trigger a slide on this, this layer, but it's really hard to initiate. Our avalanche danger is moderate. We do have a poor structure and the possibility of triggering an avalanche, but the likelihood is low. <clears throat> All right, we're in Middle Basin on an east aspect, and our snowpack's pretty similar to what we were finding coming up the other side in, in, in Beehive. Um, about 130 centimeters deep, and we still have the sugary depth hoar down at the ground. The two weak layers we've been looking for is this, which we found all over our advisory area this season, and then some near surface facets. We're not finding much activity, any reactiveness in the near surface facets, but we are still finding that this will propagate with a lot of force after an ECT. It doesn't propagate in our initial 30 hits, but if we hit it 35, 37 times, it'll shoot across that depth hoar. So I'm still not trusting this layer. Even though it's really hard to initiate, it's there. And as we get more load, it's gonna be more sensitive. And if you find the right spot in the slope, it could propagate a fracture and it's gonna bring down the whole season's snowpack.